Is the music done? Oh. Welcome back, guys. We actually have our first rain day of the fall. As you can see, the weather stick even agrees with me. It's a, it's a definite rain day, which means that we actually have a catch-up video for you guys. Corn harvest for us has been going awesome. I mean, smooth. Things are working good. I mean, it's, it's just good. Well, the good, not good thing about that is that what you guys want to see is when things break, things catch on fire, things that get stuck, and unfortunate events. This is what makes good YouTube. So, since we've had a pretty much an uneventful week or so, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a catch-up video, which the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to ask you guys to actually hit the thumbs up button. We want to get those numbers growing up here because this channel is for you guys and you guys are the ones of the destination of how good this channel can be at some point here we're actually gonna make it to my farm which is in a few videos for you guys actually uh <laughs> i get a little excited about when i start to shell this corn and you'll just have to stick around and see why look how pretty that corn is Woo. It gets really good up there. But in this video, I'm just gonna be walking through a few things with you guys that were the main highlights over a couple of days instead of doing a video on each one of them. We're just gonna put it all together in one video. And uh, then you can actually go hang out with Madden and I, my nephew who came down and uh, showed me how to do my job. Oh, we might have a working man. that problem. <laughs> we just fixed it. The tile guy is too late. We already fixed it. Until it fills back in again. Yeah, well, <laughs> just cut it back out again. <laughs> so the next thing you guys are going to see is actually a little bit of a tour of the two new grain bins that are done. They're not completely done. They still need their unloading systems. Uh, but this one's pretty, that one's full. This one's working on full. And we're thinking beans for that one. But give you a little bit of a tour of the differences in these new bins. So the jorts have made an appearance today. I know, taking the fashion world by storm. But shirt and jorts. Type of day, it's supposed to be kind of chilly out in the morning and uh, like 90 degrees this afternoon.
What do you guys say we hop in the bins and check them out? Oh, I like that. That's a little different. A little different style of closing mechanism. I mean, yeah, that's different. This is kind of similar. The holes are different in this bin here. These are actually like hole holes instead of like slits. So this is, that's a little bit different. We got lots of ridge vents on this bin. One, two, three, four side sumps. And those side sumps are big too. I think the vertical unload on these is 12 and the horror the sump bottom is a 10 but andrew's oogling over this sweep and i noticed it too i mean look at that sweep power sweep just like it's got like a foot here that you can raise and lower um look at that power sweep oh yeah and it's like got like a, a rubber deal on the bottom of it oh man i bet that thing just cleans it up nice and then the end Look at the end though. Oh, yeah, there's still a little bit of a gap, but they're gonna have to have that. I mean, there's a grease fitting. That's interesting. Hmm. You, have, well, you, you probably gotta like drag it over here by the door, lift it up and grease it or something. Little paddles on there. I'll tell you what, that's gonna be nice. We're gonna have to retire one of our power sweeps. We'll just have to keep the other power sweep around. This is interesting. You can pull. You can pull it up out from the inside. That's that's kind of nice. Around. Really use another step here. The vertical's not here yet, so just gotta wait on the vertical. And since this is big dude nation around here, I think we upgraded the ladders. They're not the ladders, the stairs. I think. Pretty nice stairs. Don't you think, bud? No dryer systems or anything on these, just the fans. Big blowing fans. I like that it's hung off of the bin instead of like that one's on concrete. We really need to brace that one and get it just hung up. Looks good. We had to move all the stuff uh, that's still left for the green bins. It's just in the way a little bit. They actually did a really nice job of like having a very tidy work site. Um, we just had to move some of the stuff a little stuff. But I'm taking this Kubota back to the shop. We're going to unhook a hay rake, get uh, that Kubota ready to go to an auger. We're going to hook onto the 10 inch auger and uh, we got to go get the Peterbilt in my truck. The last thing we used this 10 inch auger for was I was I actually unloaded some oats. And to get into the bin that had the oats on it, it had to have the hopper on the opposite side. So you can swing these hoppers around. You just gotta do it. Well, I'll just show you. go like that very important to remember that you need to swing your hopper before you hook it up to the track ask me how I know
So the other night, Molly and I did a live, and I mentioned that I've got a part of a hay field that looks like it was sprayed with Roundup. Look at that thing. Like there's a little patch of green. There wasn't a sprayer anywhere near this field. Someone suggested that I might have army worms in this hay field. I don't see any worms, I see some bugs. Man, I don't know. That's really weird. Looking through here now at that same field, it's starting to green up a little bit, but there is still some brown spots out there. But it's definitely, definitely healing. Soybeans are a little bit wet right now. Oh, I'd say about 1.7 so far anyways guys that's gonna end it for my rain day here and that gets you guys caught up on the videos on what we've gotten done there in that short little period of time lots more videos are coming they're gonna be rolling out soybean harvest right around the corner as well we got to get start getting these soybeans out <laughs> it actually somewhat feels like fall finally Probably about time. Probably about time. But I sure hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't on the way out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Doggy water fountain. Thirsty dog.